Tour of Martinique Stage 9 was probably one of my best results of the year so far. Uh, we had previously done 10 stages, including two TTs, eight road stages. So this is the last one. It, they were weird races. They started with a dead start. Um, the level of this race is like a French national race, so not UCR or anything, but still uh, probably the best race I've done in terms of crowds and everything else. So you can see early on, there are some attacks. This guy in green is really, really strong. You can see my teammate um, is ahead of me, Eugene in the white helmet. I'm just behind him in the white helmet on the blue canyon. Um, and the attacks were really furious because it was six laps of this loop um, with like a kind of 4K climb at 3%. So my thinking was, let's get in the break because I don't think I can go with the best riders in the race. Well, I knew I couldn't. So this guy's stringing it out. And this is kind of going to be a bit of like a tutorial and also just how it went. So anyway, now we're in the break. You can see it's lined out massively. And I look around and I think one thing to do is when you're trying to get in the break is make sure you know what the race situation is. So here I just drill it. We got three of my teammates in the break and I just think we've got to go absolutely full. So you can see I do a strong turn there, but not a long turn. Anyway, that ends up getting caught. And then you can see there's three of us here who are away, one of my teammates. When they got caught, we basically just kept on riding. That's the other thing. If you keep on riding, this happens. My teammate then attacked, went solo. This is the chasers. Um, Guyana were in the leader's jersey as you can see here and they were basically trying to control the race but they weren't strong enough and this gap started coming out you can see my teammate Boz he did a massive amount of work which really helped me because at this moment in time we didn't have a massive gap and to be honest in this group I was quite confident I could get a result because there weren't too many strong people there you can see me again looking just seeing this guy I was sitting on um, he had the guy in third place on GC so I was kind of not surprised he was sitting on because he's probably going to wait for him to get across um, and again, you can see here just pulling turns. And one thing that is quite important is just try and get an error, as error as possible in the front. You can see the difference between me and the guy ahead of me in terms of error. You just want to save it as, as much as you can. Obviously, if you're just, you know, riding through, normally it's fine. Um, and the gap here going into the first climb was decent. But you can see Guyana here have four riders, one in the leader's jersey. And the guys are still attacking. The racing here is carnage. People just love attacking. So it's really hard to control it. And that yellow and blue team is the team who is about to uh, create a raid. So this is the first climb. There's loads and loads of spectators. It was such a good atmosphere. I'm second wheel here. Um, I basically just stayed second wheel the whole time because I thought there's sliding room. But to be honest, the guy who was looking for the KOM jersey to get second in it, he rode the whole climb at a very steady tempo. Um, and to be honest, at this point here, it started to flatten off quite a lot. One thing I did want to notice is on the descents, I was always very near the front because if you're near the back, you just get caught out. And you can see here, people are chasing around this roundabout. People aren't as good as on descents as others. So I always make sure I either start in the front and if I don't, then I just go around people. Like, especially on this race, it was very easy just to go around people who weren't confident in the corners. Um, like either overtaking or undertaking, depending on how the corner was. But you can see I'm like a lot near the front. Um, again on this descent near the front this was just a mega fast like 80k an hour descent um, so it wasn't too much stress but again like it's just being near the front and here comes the raid this is the GC raid they managed to get rid of Guyana um, and the guy, the team in second who was a local team got everyone to work this is the leader's jersey with um, a teammate of the guy who's um, going into the lead at the moment we actually put six minutes into the leader's jersey into Will Dilhan who had a mega strong race but just didn't quite have the teammates really to to sort everyone out um, and then anyway, you can see more and more people marking it but at this point the gap was pretty close and I was quite worried about it but once the GC guys get across it's quite good because then you do no work um, we had a guy ninth on GC there was one guy who was 10th so already I wasn't working much because like well although the gaps are huge and to be honest like I really wanted a good result on the stage more than anything else I was like you know now there's GC guys there's no need to do it so this is the second time of the climb you can see everyone's going absolutely ballistic around this hairpin I'm further back this time and you can see this group is now swelled to maybe 30 or 40. Um, and unfortunately, the coverage up the climb wasn't mega, but everyone basically just got shelled every lap until there were about 15 of us left by the end of the uh, end of the race. The only reason I didn't get shelled is because it's 3%. And on 3%, 3 4%, you can have a good draft. So I was pretty happy the climb wasn't any steep. Otherwise, I think I pro definitely would have got dropped. And again, you can see here, like, it is pretty easy to draft. Um, and the guy in the polka dot jersey, Soraka, won it last year. He's a mega strong climber. And you can see you can't see him in the picture anymore because they went absolutely nuclear. Um, but over the top, it flattens off. As you can see here, they get more and more speed. And um, I managed to get back on. So anyway, now we go kind of an hour and 22 in. You can see, like, I'm just sitting on the back. I'm not doing any work because, again, as I said, it's a GC race now. It's not really a stage thing. So there's just no point doing any work. So you can just sit on. Um, if anyone says to you, need to work you don't I think the only thing you really want to do is just make sure that 
when it gets uh, towards the climbing near the front. But anyway, we skipped ahead to three and a half hours in, and this is on, on the final climb. You can see people attacking. I put an attack with 6k to go, but or 10k to go, but they didn't cover it. But again, this is really why I messed up. So again, I'm about fourth wheel from the back here, which is fine. Um, I'm not too unhappy about it. There's a lot of gaps opening up. You can see me there. In this situation, it's fine. I didn't actually know the finish because they didn't publish it. So we go around this roundabout, and to be honest, again, I'm fine. I'm like, people have teammates, people are riding for GC. I'm not the one who needs to close this gap. So I'm on the right hand side around this roundabout. And again, it's fine. I hop onto the Energizer guy. Wheel, he is a strong sprint. He's got a really good kick. So again, I wasn't too stressed. But this is really where I uh, make a big mistake. Look how many people are watching this on the barrier. So you can see it starts to slow up ahead. I'm carrying more speed. We're going into a downhill. Now I should go on the right here. So you can see I follow into the left and then I have to touch my brakes and I slow up. Now I should be going onto the right. You can see here, I actually choose to go into the middle of the bunch. Huge error because it starts to fan out and you can see, and I know in my head this is the wrong decision to do because instead of being near the front, fourth, fifth wheel, because when we go around this roundabout, we turn left and it's maybe five, 600 meters to go. This is the yellow jersey group, so it's kind of irrelevant, but they're gonna flick back to ours. And I just was a huge, huge error because I was so far back. So you can see going around this corner now, um, I'm very far back. You can't even see me, there I am. Basically last wheel, which is fine, but I make another crucial mistake around here. The guy starts celebrating on the left, I let him in. I should have gone round him, I didn't. He came on the inside and I was like, okay, that's fine. But round here, he starts celebrating, lets the wheel go, and then it starts to accelerate. Um, and I really just messed up the sprint at the end of the day, to be honest. Um, I did well in terms of not wasting much energy beforehand. You can see me sprinting here. I come around one person, but there's like a massive gap for me to, to close. But I think it, overall, it was quite a good ride. Like I got in the early break, I managed to really um, just conserve as much energy. You can see me coming from miles back um, and only getting around really one person, barely on the same time. Um, but yeah, I managed to conserve a lot of en energy early on. Guadalupe got a 1-2 on the stage uh, and just stuck with them the whole time. And there was only like 10 or 11 of us by the end. I think it's just in the end, it's just like the more opportunities you get to be in the final of a race, the more you realize like how you should have played it. And I think I'm obviously, you know, getting better at how to play races. Like I have won races from a small reduced bunch before I know how I do it, which is not from the sprint. But I still think my positioning in the sprint was not good and that when I came from speed I either should have attacked or moved towards the front because these races are all about positioning at the end of the day coming into the sprint and nothing really and not as much to do with gas um but yeah it was a really successful race I might do some more uh, um, stages where I did well because uh there was another one where I got 12th which was quite a good performance as well um but anyway I hope you did enjoy this video it's something slightly different um and I'll see you in the next one